All right, welcome back to the Central Valley Buzz, everybody. I'm your host, Chuck Leonard. Billy, Yo. let's bring in our next guest, Rochelle from Enchanted Nails. Hello, <laughs> Rochelle, how are you? Good. Uh, Enchanted Nails, where, where, where are you located? We are at 3075 West Bullard okay. and Marks. Bullard and Marks. Mm -hmm. Am I, I'm, what, what corner would that be? That is the northwest corner. Okay, so over by uh, videos. Right and all, in there. And that center, yes. right? The great little center. That center's kind of coming back, isn't it? It is. We got uh, Fat Boys in there. They have great tacos. It's Taco Tuesday, so we want to get involved in that today. Um, we got Mason Supplier Hardware. They're new. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And always uh, old docks. Oh, yeah. Right. They, they, <laughs> they came back. They're in the front now. Right. How's it, uh, how long has Enchanted Nails been there? Um, we've been at that location for, I believe, over 16 years. What? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but my mom opened up this business 30 years ago. No kidding. Yeah. Where was she before? Uh, she was at Shields and Moroa forever. No kidding. Yeah. And then she's yeah. over at over Bullard Marks now for 16 years. Mm -hmm. How, is it only nails? Um, we do nails. We're, uh, my mom does permanent cosmetics. Okay. I help her with that. Um, we t also t t permanent cosmetics. What mm -hmm. do you mean permanent cosmetics? Mm -hmm. It's on there forever. Well, come on, it's <laughs> like a tattoo. It is a tattoo. What, 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 do, you, what do you do? Um, you do we, eyebrows? Yeah, we numb it up a little bit, uh -huh. and then we you lay them down. You take all the other ones off? Nah, we leave it there. It makes it more natural. Really? Yeah. We so you, you, you tattoo through the hair? We do. We do. And so, so it's permanent color under, underneath it, uh -huh. so that you don't have to touch them up. Correct. And eyeliner and lips is also. No. I know the no. things we do. Really, you us no, 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 What's no. wrong with us? No, 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 no! You're not tattooing people's lips. I am tattooing people's faces. Yes. No, oh my gosh! Yes. They come in and they're tough. They just lay there, and we just make them what, look beautiful. What, what's the age demographic on that? Um, it's we get them as young as you know, starting like in your 30s, uh -huh. where your our eyelashes kind of start to thin, and mm -hmm. our eyebrows start to thin out, or you know, in 40s and 50 year olds where they've got a lot of gray. Uh -huh. And you know, you just gotta have an eyebrow, man. You have to uh, have an eyebrow. Have an eyebrow man. Yeah, otherwise you're okay. all forehead. <laughs> and that's not cute. It's not cute. <laughs> you're all forehead. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Now, uh, do you do the nails? I do. You do. Okay, tell me about what, what, what in, I've seen. Uh, I know a little bit about nails, mm -hmm. okay? And I, I know that they've gone through a lot of different changes through the years. They used to do the yes. acrylics and the powders and the, the stink and the and then they did the light and the gel and then the yeah. What are they yeah. doing now? Oh, hey, you must be married. You know a lot about well, nails. Oh, you know. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> you know what? The thing about the nail industry, what I love the most about it is it's always changing. There's always something new that you need to learn, that you need to keep up on, especially when it comes to the art. I just took a class recently in Clovis and that's what makes it fun and exciting. Well, tell me about it. What, 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 what is new in nails? My favorite thing that's new is stamping. Um, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come here. Bam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's fun um, because I usually do a lot of hand painted art, which I enjoy. Uh huh. But they. You mean on canvas? No, on, on nails. nails. No. And so the latest thing, though, is where um, you pick the, the customer picks the design. Uh -huh. I put the nail polish on there mm -hmm. and then I stamp it with a little stamper and I just stamp it right on their nail. What stamps on there? Yeah, Bling? they, they little, come with little no, rhinestones they, or? It, it comes I, it comes with all kinds of different designs and so it's just fun. Just, yeah. just to how do long something different. Last? Two weeks till no, they come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, that, that, is that how long it lasts? About every two weeks, you keep you keep them coming in for the fills. I keep them coming back for more. Yeah. What what do you what are you <laughs> using for product now? My favorite product is Young Nails. Uh huh. And um, it's new, it's innovative, it's my favorite. Um, the acrylic lasts forever, and that's what people really want. They don't well, want any what's lifting. What's the procedure? You know, I just get my little brush, mm -hmm. and I dip it into some powder. I dip a little bit into the liquid, uh -huh. and then I place it on the nail, and it smooths nicely, and then, and then I file and buff. And Is it hard to learn how to do that? Because I've seen some pretty bumpy nails out there. Yeah, you got to smooth it out. Yeah. You got to smooth it out, make it look nice. Okay, so... You got you guys do nails and you do per permanent makeup. Anything mm -hmm. else? Um, waxing. We're st we're currently looking for a hairstylist. So if anybody's interested, we got two um, chairs open. We'd love to have a hairstylist. Okay. That's what, what, what's fantastic. the terms? Uh, we go by we go month to month rent. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay, they can come down over there and just talk to you right there. Yeah. Just ask for me or my mom. Her name okay. is Fran. Uh, important to me is when I go to the salon, I always leave with something. Like yeah. I, I, I buy the product there, but yeah. not necessarily the one that they tell me. I kind of go out and like to pick it out pick myself. It 
What do you do? What do you got for product over there? Um, mostly we sell my own line, which um, I make myself in my kitchen. I make um, bar soaps and I make lotions. Um, and the reason why it's the best and people love it is because it's all natural. Whereas um, commercial products have a lot of water, a lot of alcohol, and pig fat, which I don't like. Pig fat, she said it. No, okay, no. I tell you what, let's take a quick commercial break, Billy. When we come back, we'll learn more about pig fat. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Stick around, people. How am I doing? All right, welcome back to Central Valley Buzz, everybody. In the last segment, we were talking to Rochelle from Enchanted Nails. She mentioned pig fat. We had to take a commercial break. But we're back. Billy, let's bring her back in. Okay. okay. Here, we, you, you, you caught us off guard there with a the little pig fat. What it's do you, what true. Do you mean? Pig, people are putting pig fat in soap? It's in our soap. It's in uh, a lot of our cosmetics, and especially in our soaps and lotions. And I'll tell you why. Because buying avocado oil or almond oil which is what I make is expensive uh -huh. and so commercial products of course they're gonna use the cheapest product out there and that's pig fat you can buy it by the barrels and I just don't like that idea and since I use better product to make my product it's a better product okay <laughs> that makes sense right there. How, how, tell me how you learned how to make it I'll tell you um, I was bored and I'm one of those people who like to always stay busy mm -hmm. I was um, at home with my to my baby, my second baby, Severiana Del Cid. Love you, babe. <laughs> um, I was home with her, and Martha Stewart had a TV show where she would make stuff. Right. And she made some soaps and lotions. I was like, I want to try to do that. That sounds neat. And she's the one on the TV show that talked about pig fat in our product. Right. And I was I like, I hear she makes a mean pruno, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just kidding. And um, I don't like to eat pork, and I don't want to unknowingly rub it on my face. Right. So I um, can, started can, making can it. You make, can everybody just get that visual <laughs> of rubbing some pig on your face? <laughs> yeah, that's great. I don't even like bacon, so. You, you don't even like bacon? No. All right, well, tell me about your soaps. All this right. one right here, it says it's a lavender? Yes. Okay. This For is calming. my favorite. This is my favorite. It's very calming. But in addition to that, I have actual lavender buds in it. So it's also um, a very soft um, exfoliant. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Probably smells real good in the shower when you're using it, does, it too, right? It does. It does. Okay. This, is, this is my other one. This is, this is mango. And it actually, that's, m mango is my only product that actually has mango extract in it as well. Extract. Where do you get mango extract from? Um, from my suppliers. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Where do they get it? I mean, it's from all From mangoes. <laughs> Next, <laughs> Dragonfly Honey Lotion. Yeah. What's the lotion for? What part? This is for your body. Yeah. And it's really rich. Um, it lasts all day. That's what my customers love about it because usually other products, um, since there's so much water and alcohol, it dries out in about, I don't know, three hours. So this one lasts all day? All day. How do you open it? Um, you... Oh, don't yeah. squeeze it real hard or anything. I think you were turning it the wrong was way. Was I turning it the wrong way? I think so. Is it, oh, it's, it's, is, it like, is it like the buttons on a shirt for a boy and a girl? I think so. I think this one's having issues, it's having though. A, it, it's How stuck. about that? Yeah. It's stuck. How about this? How would I, I just go out and give a look? Yeah, you can smell Ooh, it. it smells really, really Thank nice. You. You sell this right there, uh, there at Enchanted Nails. What's something like this go for? Um, I sell that. That's my big bottle. It's ten ounce. I sell it for ten dollars. Okay. I also have a smaller bottle which I didn't bring. And I sell for five. Excellent. And the soaps? Five. Pretty good deal, right? What? Any mm -hmm. other? Any other uh, products in this line? Um, <clears throat> if you look at my website, I also design T-shirts mm -hmm. and tank tops, mm -hmm. and so um, I sell my T-shirts on there and some of my hand drawn art stuff like that so the dragonfly it's dragonfly not it's, company. It's, it's not just it's not just soaps and lotions it's all kinds all of stuff. kinds of cool stuff is it dragonfly.com what is it it's dragonflycompany.com dragonflycompany.com uh enchanted nails on the corner of bullard and marks go by there and see rochelle yeah, tell halloween party coming oh we do have she has a halloween hey, party you can't forget you about didn't that tell me about a ha halloween yes benefit so halloween party yeah super important to me because i like to um we've been having halloween parties for years 
Um, but three years ago, I decided to make it a benefit because, I mean, we go all out. There's a tri benefit tip. for what? That we, we supply the food, tri-tip, enchiladas, beans, rice, a DJ, um, beer. And so we have a really good time. <laughs> and it's free. And so I thought, you know, let's, let's do something good for the community. And so this year we're benefiting Promesa Foster Care Agency. Nice. And so what I ask is for everybody to bring something for the kids. Um, they need toothbrushes. They need jackets. They need socks. Mm -hmm. You know, they need anything, school supplies. And um, people... Gently used okay? Mm, we like brand new. Okay. And so, um, yeah, these kids are taken from their home and they're not placed yet, so they need stuff. Mm -hmm. And everybody comes out and they have a good time and they feel good about it. Too. Is it going to be at the shop? It's going to be at the shop. Uh, on October 24th? That's, that's a right. Saturday? That's right. It's just 10, 10 24 times to start? Uh, 7.30. 7.30 a.m.? No, that's too early. Okay. That's too early for drinking. 7.30 p.m., a big Halloween benefit party at Enchanted Nails. Sounds like a good time. Gonna Sounds like fun. you know how to put together a party. Yes. Uh, go by and see Rochelle. Tell her you saw her right here on The Buzz. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Stick around. Woo!